right, ladies and gentlemen, we next turn our attention to the other half of the bracket at our second semifinal. This European champion began training at the age of 12. Please welcome Jimmy! Jimmy stands 5 9, a record of 50, 11, and 4, with 18 wins via form of knockout, making his glory debut representing Saint Denis, France. Fights out of the Lupini Muay Thai and his coach Sam Barandu. Last fight was in December, picked up a decision over glory veteran Johan Fobo. This man last fought at Glory 19 in Virginia and logged a win over Max Valdez. Please welcome Josh Johnson. Second semi-final matchup in the Glory Lightweight Contender Tournament sees Canada's Josh Johnson do battle with Francis Jemay. These guys match up pretty well, with John C. having a slight height advantage and Jemay having a slight reach advantage, so they should hopefully equal each other out. We do have the short notice of Jemay, making it a little harder for him to rise to the occasion. John C. making his way to the ring. 3-0 with two wins inside the distance during his short glory tenure. 22 and four overall, half of those victories inside the distance. Known for his technique and his flash and his aggression and has his dad, Vincent, in his corner. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this lightweight tournament semifinal scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a four-time French Muay Thai champion. His professional record, 50 wins with 11 losses and four draws. 18 of those wins coming by knockout. And five feet, nine inches tall, 1.76 meters. He weighed in at 152 and one half pounds, 69.2 kilos. He fights tonight for France. Please welcome Jimmy. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, undefeated in three prior glory appearances. His professional record, 22 wins with four losses, 11 of those wins by knockout. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos, fighting tonight out of Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Josh Johnson. Once again, your referee, John Axwood. Johnsey's made frequent trips to the Netherlands, but he spent his entire camp in Den Bosch at Andy Sauer's gym. Preparing for the biggest night of his career thus far. Meanwhile, Jim A. Representing the hopes of the French people in this tournament. You know the rules. Making his glory debut. Referees John Axwood. We are set for three three-minute rounds. The bell in round one. They touch gloves. John C. in the white gloves. Jim A. in the black. What should fans look for in this matchup, Frank? Well, for John C., he's really got to close the distance, bang the body, and get his knees going. He's really crafty. He also strikes well, moves off the line when he strikes. So he doesn't get hit much when he's striking. And then with Jermaine, 
he's got to start fast, I think, and get in kick range. Like, make this make this a kicking game. Uh, and don't load up on the right hand. When he loads up on his right hand, he exposes himself a little bit. Talk about how important mental preparation is as Johnson whips in an outside low kick. He, this is his third opponent in this tournament as he chops away at Jemay. He was supposed to face another highly touted prospect in Nicholas Larson of Denmark. He is out with a foot infection. Was going to face Chris Busuku, who was deemed medically ineligible to compete after the weigh-in. And in comes Jemay to save the day, I guess. Save the day. Good body work by Johnsey. Bang the body. Jamey started training in Muay Thai at the age of 13. Knocks Johnsey off balance. Coming up on the midpoint of the opening round. Left body kick by Jamey. He goes to work on the body. There's a left hook to the jaw by Johnsey. And that's one of his money shots. That's why uh, Jamey's got to keep that right hand straight and back. Oh, a punch kick combination by John C. A little of that Dutch style that he's picked up working with K1 Max Great, Andy Sauer, who was in his corner. Under a minute left in the first frame. Good combination put together by Jermaine. Oh, wow, nice. lightning hand speed by Johnson. So far, what we've seen in this tournament, you see the high-level technique and the incredible crispness wow. and the action that only glory can deliver. Johnson stepped in super deep for that ball oh, shot. Oh, counter right hand, though, by Jermaine. Backs him up. Left hook to the liver by Jermaine. Beautiful. Two punch, one kick, chopping combination. Jermaine checked that kick. Final seconds of a fantastic opening round between Josh Johnson of Canada and Francis Jermaine. Both of these guys went right at it, but Johnson got the better of these exchange combinations when he started chopping that leg out and also doing that downward leg kick, which just hurts so bad when it happens. Another punch kick combination. It's not just a leg kick, it's a downward leg kick, which just chops your leg. Kickboxing royalty at ringside here in Lille, France. Three-time K1 champion Remy Bonyaski and four-time K1 World Grand Prix champion Mr. Perfect Ernesto Host taking in the proceedings. They've got to be pleased with what they've seen thus far in this tournament. Or Ronello alongside Frank Shamrock as Johnsey eats that body kick, misses with the head kick. Goes inside, delivers a 1-2 to the body. How did you score that frenetic first round as Jimmy gets chopped to the canvas? I had to give that to Johnsey. I think that uh, effective striking and those cut kicks, those down kicks, I think they're doing damage and they look tremendous. Jimmy taking the fight on short notice is Definitely game, staying in the pocket, moving forward. Good movement by Johnsey to uh, escape the ropes. Body kick by Jumay. Ducks underneath that right hand and just misses with that kick. A lot of kicks, a cavalcade of kicks, if you will. And look at this, 59%. Johnson, yeah, that big ones, too. Again, able to avoid that. Right hand delivers a short right uppercut, and that knee attack was caught by Jemay. 
Thus far, the, the combination work of Johnsy appears to be the difference, not yep. just the crispness, but the speed in which the techniques are delivered. He's beating him to the punch, and if he starts from the body up, he's gonna hook him hard in the head. Oh! There he was headhunting wow. with that high kick. I haven't seen that one for a while. That's a great combo. And still mixing it up, showing the maturity. Look at the way he tattoos his torso. Johnsy moving forward. Right cross glances off the beard of Jamey, who moves back to the center of the ring. Coming up on the final 60 seconds of another action-packed second round, the winner of this fight will meet Thai star Sintachai in the final, the victor to challenge Robin Van Roosmalen for the glory lightweight title. Johnsy with stalking head movement is working his way inside. Oh! Body kick by Jamey, countered immediately by an outside low kick by Johnsy. Staying in the pocket, focus leads with a knee. There he slipped, delivered the right hand. He's got just beautiful boxing, combining the boxing and the movement. And that leg of Jamea is just chopped to pieces. And you can see that despite being 22 years old, Josh Johnsey, as he rocks him with that left hand, going in now. Kickboxing's been his entire life since the family moved from London, England at three to Vancouver, where his father runs a gym. A terrific round for the upstart cutout, Josh Johnsey. <laughs> Johnson really starting to mix it up. Look at this fake go low, kick high. I love that technique. My coach did it to me one time about kick my ear off. And here's the right hand. It just pops Jamey right on the button, staggers him a little bit, and Johnsy right on him, following, finishing with that kick every time. Boom! Johnsy just smelling it. And with that lame leg, Jimmy is going to have a tough time in this round. K1 Max champion Andy Sauer. Sour power. You're watching the Glory Lightweight Contender Tournament semifinal action, third and final round. Josh Johnson in the white gloves, Jamey in the black. Johnson, the latest in an impressive line of Canadians. He gets tagged with that right hand. We have Glory Featherweight Champion Gabriel Varga. And Joseph Valtellini, unfortunately, forced to vacate the welterweight title due to health concerns. We wish him well, and we are looking forward to August 7th when Nikki Holskin battles Raymond Daniels in a rematch to fill that vacant title. Johnson's stalking him down. Oh! How do you have it after two rounds, Frank? I think Johnson is controlling the fight and hacking this to made to pieces. Beautiful punch, low kick. As we look at the total strikes, 103 thrown, landing 46%. Come on. Anytime you land near 50 or over, you're usually ahead of the game. And he continues. Now they chop away at each other with kicks. And you have to be impressed with both of these athletes and what they are putting on display. Kickboxing at its best. Oh! You saw the leg collapse. That was cool. He jumped knee and then kind of floated back down with a turning leg kick. Oh, beautiful lead left hook to the liver and a nice left hook countered by Johnson. Johnson wants that leg. Minute and a half left in the fight. Oh. Has to be cognizant of Jamey's attack, however. There's a side kick wow. that pushes Jamey to the canvas. Well, his wheels are gone. Oh, left uppercut on the inside. Jamey is damaged. Johnson now beginning to tattoo him and pepper him all over his body. Jamey strides a right hand, then goes down with the knee. And he's ruled a knockdown. Jamey's left leg is barely working. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
There's a... Under a minute remaining in the fight in the tournament semifinals, two knockdowns in a round or three total. Well, now it's a final round, so two, another knockdown. The fight will be over if Johnson's able to score it. Lands a right hand. Continues to whip it, tenderize that lead leg, as you mentioned. It's it's damaged. It's been butchered by Johnson. Oh. See how he's lifting it up now when he gets close. He's like, Just don't kick my leg, please. I think I'm going to start calling him Josh the Ripper Johnson if this continues. Three and zero with two wins inside the distance. Continues to go to work on Jamey, who's shelling up along the ropes oh. again. Tagged, goes down, barely stand up. Two, three, four, five, Two knockdowns, it's over. Six, seven, eight, five. I don't know if the referee was aware of that. It's the uh, tournament rules. Two knockdowns, you win the fight. So he's won the fight. Josh Johnson will face City Tie in the final, and he will be looking to avenge his mentor, his hero, Andy Sowers' defeat. What a final on tap in the Glory Lightweight Contender Tournament. Beautiful leg kicks. Hey, Jimmy never got out of this fight. He was just outgunned from the beginning. And the, the culprit was that leg. It just kept getting chopped and hacked inside and out. By the end, Jimmy's movement was just not working. He just did not have the strength and the stability. You know, after, after chopping up that leg, Jimmy blocked it nicely, or at least started to block it. Johnson went to the other leg. A tremendous debut on the big stage, and Andy Sauer has to be very pleased with his protege's display of technique, landing two knockdowns in the final round to seal the deal. 22 years old. What were you doing at 22, Frank? 22? Um, I just started my career in martial arts. He started when he was, well, three years old. Following in the footsteps of his father, Vincent, his brother, Jay, is also in the corner. Showed a maturity level that was very impressive. Saved his money working as a plumber after he graduated in order to save enough to, to live in the Netherlands so he could focus on his training and fight career for a year. And again, held his entire camp for this tournament in the Netherlands, which is driving distance from Lille, France. The semifinals were any indication. The final of the Glory Lightweight Contender Tournament is going to be amazing. Josh Johnson defeats Jamey via third round of TKO. Here are the strike stats. Oh, the, the strike stats say it all. Look at the 71% of kicks landed, and at least half of them had to be on that poor front leg of Jamey. Just hacking. He says such good timing on that. And when he was moving inside and hitting the body, hitting the head, and then the fake stuff like that up high, just such a level of, of technique in Johnson. It's beautiful to watch. Even a side, side rear kick, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this battle officially came to an end by way of the Glory Tournament 2 knockdown rule for your winner. By TKO, who now punches his ticket to the tournament final, Josh Johnson!
Josh the Ripper Johnson rips off another impressive victory here in the semifinals. And good display of sportsmanship by Jamey, who, come on, taking the fight on short notice, put up quite the effort. And John C now 4-0 and oh in glory with three wins coming by way of knockout as we update the brackets. And there it is, the final will see. Glory newcomer, an ostentatious debut, knocking off former Glory lightweight champion David Kiria. Sitajai meets Josh Johnson. Sitajai looking for his second consecutive win over a Team Sour opponent. Johnson looking to avenge his mentor's defeat and looking to challenge for the Glory Lightweight Championship at the age of 22. Yes. Let's this fight go on. Can Francois Embe Ombing? Oh, what a shot from Raymond Daniels. Oh.